Good morning, modern steaders. Let's go check on the concrete floor in the outdoor kitchen and see if the tongue oil is dried. Looks pretty dry to me. You can barely even tell we put any on there. There's a few spots you can see. But for the most part, I like it. We left it nice and rough. So that way when we have the floor wet, we don't got to worry about us or anybody slipping. The nice part about using tongue oil for a finish is there's no obnoxious chemical smell. Inside right now, smells a little earthy, like a little nutty, but it's really good smelling. You're not going to be in here coughing or gagging. If you're doing it in your house, you can actually be living in your house while you're using the tongue oil. Yesterday we also spread the gravel, got our driveway back, fixed up our road a little bit. And I put a walkway in. I don't think I really showed this to you. We put a walkway in to go to the outhouse. So we got nice, easy walking now. We have a lot of other things we need to do today to get ready for the pig harvesting class. getting a load of firewood dropped off this morning so I want to make sure we have a nice cleared area for them to drop the load for us. All this grass will make some nice material to add to our wood chip pile for composting.
We're all fogged up on the lens. I think firewood's here too. Making zucchini bread. Oh, my spoon. I got it. Got some firewood now between what we just got dropped off. We have some wood here and a bunch scattered throughout the property that we need to clean up. That should be enough for a year. We burn about five cords of firewood. We ordered two and a half. We should have about two and a half cords worth of wood that we need to cut and split around here. It came a little early, so we had a dart out of the kitchen. We were helping Gina with the zucchini bread. We're just giving her a quick little hand. She's making some zucchini bread for the class. It's gonna be good. We're trying to get all caught up and get ready with stuff we have here for food so we'll be ready for when everybody gets here. I was thinking I should probably assemble the burner, put it together, and make sure it works. That would not be good if it didn't come the day of the class. Then we can get rid of all the cardboard boxes too. I was very impressed with this burner. It seems to be very well constructed. a heat shield. There, let's try it out. I'd say that puts off a decent flame. All right, let's get this fired up. We got the 55 gallon drum filled up a third of the way with water. We're gonna let it get hot with the propane fire and see what happens. We're gonna see if we need to burn off any of that paint and get it ready in season before next weekend.
have about a gallon left over of the oil and mineral spirit mixture we made yesterday to seal the floor with. And it's a little dirty looking. It's not nice and clear. It's dirty from the mop back and forth into the bucket. So it's not anything I use in my house. So we're going to re-oil at least the main center of the floor here. I'm not going to worry about the walls and the edges. If I have enough to do that, we will. But if we can get the main walking area where it's getting the most traffic, I'll just put the second coat on. Um, we also wood stove area will get used quite a bit. Check on the water. It's got a little bit of a boil going to it. Awesome. That's good for me. Now we can clean it and set it aside for next weekend. One more project done, we got it clean, and we know our equipment works, so we can feel confident about that come next Friday morning. Good morning, piggies. Come here, piggies. They don't care about food right now, they're napping. Looking good.
hear that noise? What kind of bird is that? Right there. I know. It's more crap than it was on. I thought the same thing. It's one of Yeah, New York City's got some grass. They'll be busy for a while. That came from this area. We had to stop, we were plugging up the tractor. It was stalling it out. That's a good sized compost pile. That'll make us some nice compost for this coming growing season. I like it. You can tell it's a good day's work right there. The worst, <laughs> the worst part is once it's all composted, it'll be a quarter of that size. Yeah, oh well. Goes free. That's right. Just labor. Yeah. And diesel. Come in here for a minute. Tell me what the smell reminds you of. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of too, is the house when we were building it. And it was all open. Yeah. Well, that's where we're going to end today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It really helps the channel grow. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres. And Olivia's not here to say it. A guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.